This, this show is meant to jolt people into seeing the group of seven again, to uh, forget for the moment that they were painters and see them in their skill in drawing. My name is Terence Heath, and I'm the curator of the exhibition of the drawings of the Group of Seven. I've always liked the, um, the French uh, title for this show, Hommage au Design, because of the word Design. Uh, design ties together, for an English speaker, the idea of design, and of course it means in French, drawing. And that is what this show is really about. It's to look at the Group of Seven as draftsmen, as, as uh, artists whose major skill, their training, was with a pencil and paper. And they were more highly trained to do figure studies than they were to do trees. Um, they have become identified as landscape painters, uh, but in fact, they were trained as commercial artists. And they drew literally all the time. Our collections and our archives are full of their sketchbooks, uh, their drawings from their studios, and so on. And very few of these have been seen. What we usually see is perhaps a sketch which was uh, the basis for a painting. Uh, but in fact, the group, uh, the members of the group uh, drew all the time. It was almost like a reflex. Um, it was there, you know, we may go around and photograph things when we see something interesting. They drew them. And they drew it, they did this drawing because they were so highly skilled and trained in doing it. Um, Carmichael, for instance, we have in this uh, exhibition his earliest figure drawings from school. Uh, we have his drawings from the Ford Motor Factory uh, in Windsor, where he, uh, he worked on commission for doing the advertising for Ford Motor Company. And uh, he was in the factory and he drew one of their machines. Uh, we have his landscape drawings. We have uh, uh, his lettering, his calligraphy, extraordinary calligraphy. We, uh, we have Lismer's um, work, and you'll see the range of Lismer's work as well. Uh, many of them are landscape drawings, but also there's figure drawings. There's drawings that he did when he was in South Africa. There are portraits, there are caricatures, and there are cartoons, because Lismer loved cartoons and loved the humor of putting his friends into various positions uh, so that uh, he could make a little fun of them, I suppose, uh, in, a, in the best sense. Um, and uh, Varley, when you walk into the first gallery, the portrait at the end of the gallery is a, a, a really a magnificent portrait uh, of a woman by Varley, and you can almost sense his exploring uh, to understand her, to the face, the, um, how she's looking, uh, her eyes, uh, how her hair is set. You can see him uh, using the pencil and the opportunity of drawing to see her more closely and, if I may say so, more intimately, uh, but also around the corner from it is perhaps one of the, for me, one of the drawings which has the most horror. And that is just a very simple drawing by Varley of three jawbones of a horse uh, taken from the First World War. Each of the artists uh, from the group, from the original group, uh, is represented here in, his, in, in their various ways of drawing. This, this show is meant to jolt people into seeing the group of seven again, to uh, forget for the moment that they were painters and see them in their skill as drawing in drawing. And it's called Drawing Conclusions. Uh, it's going to be running now, uh, from now until June uh, at the McMichael. And uh, it's, it fills two full, uh, large galleries, 115 works. And I think that you will see a group of seven uh, that many of you, anyway, uh, did not know existed.